Guys, I've been sharing my journey on testosterone replacement therapy for like nearly a decade here on YouTube. Recently, someone reached out to me after watching an injection video and said, hey, you've been making a mistake that could be very dangerous. I looked into it, he was not wrong. So I'm gonna share that with you today as well as administer my TRT on camera just to see how it goes. Sometimes they go well, sometimes they don't. And I like sharing that experience raw and live as it happens. So when I was 25, I was diagnosed with hypogonadism after I was in a treatment resistant depression for a really, really long time. They had me on a bunch of different psych meds. Some of you long timers on the channel, you know this about my story. And when they found out that I had really low testosterone, it drew a lot of red flags. They retested my blood many, many times. And it confirmed that I didn't need to be on a bunch of psych meds. I needed to address my low T symptoms. And so I did. And slowly but surely over time, they, uh, they got me off the psych meds. They adjusted my testosterone dosage from 200 milligrams every week down to currently about 120, 130. And I've learned a lot of different ways of administering this treatment under the supervision of a doctor with blood work, side effect profile, and symptom relief constantly being monitored. What was I talking about? I've got testosterone sipionate. Is that able to pull focus? Yeah. This is pharma grade bioidentical testosterone. This is just some, what is it called? isopropyl alcohol and I put that right there wipe it off I wipe down my thigh just to make sure that it's clean I've been pulling off my uh, the needle off the end of the syringe I've been then placing a lower or a, yeah a lower gauge needle on top in order to draw up the testosterone all of this is okay I flip my bottle like so I don't add any air to it I just draw it into the Syringe, can you see the bubbles? Do you like the bubbles, Austin? Yes. And so I'll take it to 30, which is 60 ml, or 60 milligrams. I'll pull that off. Here's the mistake that I've been making. So I'm gonna draw back. I'm going to remove this needle and carefully set it aside. I've got a sharps container. This is a big one. I, I'm honestly surprised that I've been doing this wrong for so long. Are you surprised, Austin? This needle, right? It's got a cap on it, it's just plastic. I of course reattached the insulin needle, but what I've been doing is putting my thumb on the top of it and slamming down as hard as I could until I really hear a rigid snap or a really good connection. Someone brides my attention and this seems painfully obvious now that if this were to break, the needle inside here would just puncture my thumb completely and go clean through. So I am no longer putting this here and pressing down, but I'm keeping my hands on the side, which seems so intuitive, and I just heard the snap right there. Now, some of you may be thinking, this hardly seems worth a video, and to you guys that say, shut up, man, it's my channel. <laughs> no, there we go. So here is the insulin needle. Uh, I think it's like five eighths of an inch. And now we're gonna go ahead and inject and see how it goes. I'm a big fan of the outer quadrant of my right thigh. For the longest time, I was pinning only in my left, and now I do it on the right. I'm gonna have a Band-Aid here ready. Take a deep breath. You ready, boo? Push it in, that kind of stung, I'm not gonna lie. I'm now going to find an angle here for me. Can you see it? Yep. All right, I'm going to draw the, uh, the syringe back to make sure that I did not hit a blood vessel. Let me see if I can give Austin a better view. I'm gonna go ahead and inject. Because it's a pretty small needle, I do need to take a moment. I've had some bleeders lately. I wonder what's gonna happen here. Three, two, one, yeah. Not bad. Oof. Keeping your leg relaxed is everything. Figure out where I hit. Right there. Man, it's like surgeon's hands. It's just so smooth and so steady. There you go, guys. That is me administering my TRT. Jokes aside, I don't take it lightly that I have a treatment for low T. I'm trying to make this video lighthearted though and fun, uh, show you guys my process. But this is a bit of a pain, but it's definitely not anything compared to living with the symptoms of low testosterone. That was true pain, that was true discomfort. 
A prick twice a week is, is hardly a big deal. This isn't a how-to, this is a how-I. And I think that's all I've got for you. So let me know how you're doing in the comments below. Let me know how you like to administer your TRT or what works best for you. Thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you come back to see me soon and just know that I appreciate you. Is there anything else you think I should add? My personality is kind of weird right now. I don't know if it's because I'm like hot or what's going on. <laughs> it's kind of hot in here. Yeah, I don't know if like what's been bringing out some of the things I'm saying, but. Like the video if you want more TRT injections so I can know that you want to see content like this in the future. It does support the channel and I want to be rich and famous really soon. So I need your help.